Rock 100.5 KATT. I am Cameron Buckholtz, Rocklahoma 2019, here with Gavin from Bush. What's going on, man? Uh, I just had a good dinner and having a nice cold beer. There you go. It's, it's a n- nice way to uh, get ready for your show tonight. It sure is. You know, I appreciate that good catering. It was a nice crab. Do, do you like to, to eat before a show? Because I feel like a lot of people maybe don't. Wait, wait till after. I like to eat. I mean, generally. In general. Well, I mean, I mean, at some point in the day, and I didn't. Uh, the hotel was a little bit. It's desolate down where we were staying in Tulsa, as a dead zone. So there wasn't much food around. So <clears throat> I was like, "Can I get something to eat?" So we played two hours. But no, I definitely wouldn't have a big meal before I went on stage or anything like that. But we got a bit of time. Yeah, you, you've been doing this long enough to know not to do that. That that's a uh, your stomach won't like it. Yeah, yeah, I did it once in Rome, and I lived to regret it. I was like, you know, I was like Marlon Brando, later stages. Um, <laughs> in uh on stage and that was tricky so no i like to be nice and you know live gotcha gotcha now you get a new record coming out this fall the mind plays tricks on you one new song out now that was kind of with the, the the john wick film uh which i think was a huge smash at the box office so lots of people heard that song it's the number one film around the world you know it's just great to be involved with something like that and just giving them a song it's cool nice and uh, I mean, I'm sure you've been involved with a lot of different soundtracks over the years. Is there anything that like sticks out or anything that's interesting to like kind of be involved in the, the movie process? Yeah, well, I did a song once for Triple X, so I worked with Rob Cohen and I did a video with him and he was an amazing director and so I had a good time doing him. Uh, Julie Delphi, I worked with her on uh, um, the, um, what's we call it, that one, yeah, you know, with um, <clears throat> Midnight in Paris, whatever. Was it? Yeah, the were- American Werewolf in Paris. Oh, okay, Excuse gotcha. me. Yeah, I nearly forgot myself. <laughs> I love doing movies, um, uh, movies, uh, songs for movies. It's great. Have you ever thought about like like trying to score something? Yeah, I did um, a program for. I did a whole scoring um, of A and E's Undercover High okay. on A and E, and I wrote the song lead song for that. There's a documentary series that just finished, just came out like twelve, you know few months ago oh, okay. awesome awesome and now you've said that the the new record is is going to be quite a bit heavier than some of the recent stuff so kind of tell me about why that is and and you know more about the the vibe of the record yeah well on the, la- the last record on the on the last record the last song we did was this is war and that was a little bit heavier and a, a, a more of a nod to where it was going and just because we do so much live stuff that when i made um the last record i think that uh, there were some heavier songs and some songs that weren't so heavy but sometimes it's nice to mix it up so I think there's all the live stuff, like coming to a place like this. We do so many festivals where we're the only non-heavy metal band. So it's, it's kind of cool because I think our performance is quite strong. So we get away with it, but it's just good to we. I just explored in that whole area of, of just heavier music and had a great time doing it. Nice, nice. And what, what uh, heavier bands have you been listening to that might have uh, led you in that direction? Um, well, System of a Down. Um, was really, you know, checking them out and just really enjoying, you know, really diving into, into that band. And just a few of the, uh, you know, I think System would be one. And, and just when as soon as you get into that world of detuning and different kind of tunings, it opens up a whole new world. I found it really inspiring and, and got into it. So Nice. I mean, when that, uh, at least the, the detuning and the System of Down era, I guess you would put out uh, Golden State which uh, does not sound anything like those bands that were popular at that record. But that's actually, I think, maybe my favorite Bush album, which I, I imagine you don't hear too often, I feel like. Right. You know what's nice about us is that people don't gravitate towards one song or one era, and um, lots of people, yeah, so, and I think it's, if, you have, if you're a band that has, like, one song only and everyone gravitates to that song, it's tricky because uh, it's tricky. But when you have, um, with us, we get somehow people like different areas and different things that we do. So it just keeps it interesting. I mean, you know, it's funny because I was talking on the way here, like we're playing with Disturbed tonight. And obviously the biggest song, The Sound of Silence, is like the softest song they've, they've got. Uh, Limp Bizkit, the biggest song is Behind Blue Eyes. It's when, when we look at streaming and what, what works them. So it's ironic that even when the heaviest of the heavies, Really, people just like sweet melodies <laughs> and nice words and connect to. But uh, I like generally, anyway, heavy music. So I'm a big Tool fan. We're talking about Tool coming back with a new song, a new record. Um, and uh, yeah, I just, I love all music that's done well. 
Nice, nice. And now it, it is the 25th anniversary of 16 Stone, which I guess you guys are, are sort of celebrating when, with, by going out with live this summer. Which uh, did you guys ever tour with them back in the, in the 25 years ago days? Uh, no, no, we didn't. But um, I knew them. I've known them all the way through, and uh, I'm happy to be doing that. But uh, like for me, it's a, that's obviously a marketing thing, and people finding a way to, to pinpoint what was going on. But I feel that's more people. Uh, less people well, I'm not so involved in that I just want to write the sets that, to, that I think are good for the night and uh, not doing any of that song, album in the entirety but we are going to unearth a few songs from 16 Sun we haven't played before so that's going to be kind of cool played before in general like you even okay wow I'm not for a while like we have the song Body and Bomb and um, those two we haven't played in so long so it's been fun playing through those and going why haven't we been playing these songs they, they're cool you know but all over the place. I love Golden State, that record that you know you're talking about. I wish we could play Solutions. You know that that's a. I love that track, so I like that record. Is is there any record in your catalog that you don't like? Um, no. There's a couple of like, there's a couple of songs here and there. You know, you got to have a couple of turkeys here and there. But uh, you know, one man's turkey is another man's tofu, so it's uh, it's all good. It works out. Now, is this your first time at Rocklahoma? No, we played here a couple of times. I played with Guns N' Roses actually. Oh, okay. So I know that stage real good. And it's funny because someone was sending me a picture of the stage before I got here. And I was like, it's getting to the point where I think we've played every stage there is. <laughs> we haven't done so much stadium stuff, but that's understandable. But yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to doing it. It's just a really weird thing because what I remember last time we played here, you have the sort of s sections, but then you, there's all people come in through the middle. So as soon as we begin, it's, it's this funnel of people like they're just, sh people are just like coming through the, like, like through a, uh, toothpaste tube of people coming up and I like that because yeah this is cool it gets new people up front every three minutes or whatever it's it's kind of strange it's a it's a weird thing yeah I mean I hope uh, well I think it's gonna be I'm, I'm looking forward to it and it's always a beautiful thing to play in the dark you know in these places and uh, that's basically the big the big divide is if you play in the light or the dark and you can kill yourself so hard but then you but it it's hard to compete with a people in the dark with the light shows and all that stuff so I'm happy to be in that I've done both and I'll probably continue to do both but um, it's always a thrill when you play in the dark gotcha well Gavin thank you so much for the time and uh, really stoked for the for the new record and uh, yeah thanks thank you bullet holes